hey guys my name is Femi or Jeremy and welcome back to another video today's video is more like a part 2 to the last video I posted on this channel and in that video I showed you guys how to clean up your global bootloader and make your booting process a lot easier in macOS but in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to boot into your global bootloader and always boot into your global bootloader every time you turn on your computer or you restart I used to have this problem before when I installed Mac OS on another drive on my computer I couldn't boot directly into my Mac OS I always had to select Mac OS from the boot option list in my BIOS just to boot in it so if your computer keeps booting straight into Windows or whatever operating system you have and you want to put it to the global bootloader to select the particular OS you want to boot into then this video is for you if you aren't subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button down below Low and turn on post notifications to get notified when I post new videos. With all that said, let's get into the video. Okay, first, we're going to be creating boot entries in Windows first. So, you will need to get into Windows so that we can do this. Creating these boot entries is what will let your BIOS to see your Mac OS partition when you want to boot. So head over to Windows and you will need to download a program called Booties. I'll leave it down in the description below. Open up the program with admin rights and go to the UEFI tab. Under Boot Entries Management, click on Edit Boot Entries. You might get a prompt, just click OK. Here you might see some entries created already. But what we are going to do is to edit this entry called Windows Boot Manager. If you don't have it, you can just add an entry or you can just edit the already existing one that is there for you. So when you click on the Windows Boot Manager, you can name it whatever you want. And for the boot disk, select the disk that your Mac OS is installed on. Under the boot part, you have to select the EFI partition of your Hackintosh. Mine is this 200 megabytes, while for my Windows it's 100 megabytes. So you have to be sure which one is yours before you can select it. For media file, put in this directory. That is EFI slash boot slash boot x64 dot EFI. This is the directory for booting into your global bootloader in your EFI. Leave the other settings as shown and click on save current boot entry. Close it and shut down your computer. Next, we are going to go into our BIOS and change the boot order of the boot entries we just created. So turn on your computer and then go into your BIOS. For many HP laptops, it's F10 to get in. If you do not know how to go into your BIOS, you can just Google it. When you are in your BIOS, go to the system configuration tab, then go to boot options. Change your boot order to UEFI if it wasn't set to it. You also have to disable secure boot if your BIOS has it. Then go to your boot order section and select OS Boot Manager which should be at the top of your list. You can hit F5 and F6 on this particular BIOS to change the positions. So select OS Boot Manager and hit enter. You may see two boot options there. The one you just created for your Mac OS and one for Windows. Again, use your F5 or F6 keys if you have this BIOS to change the order. Make sure your Mac OS boot entry is the first and then you can save it by hitting F10 and exiting your BIOS with saving the changes you made. Your computer should now put into the global bootloader and it will always put into here every time you turn on your computer. To change it back, all you have to do is to go into your BIOS and set the Windows Boot Manager boot entry to be first. So that was it guys, very simple. This should fix this problem for a lot of you because I know I was having this problem and I had to do a lot of searching up and down on the internet to find how to do these things and make my Mac OS easier to use and easier to put into. So if this video was helpful, make sure you give it a like and you can subscribe to see more of my videos, turn on post notifications to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.